Welcome everybody, I'm going to do my first food vlog and I'm going to do fish and rice and baked broccoli and baked kale. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get all of your stuff set up. The easiest way that I've found to make fish in the oven and broccoli and kale in the oven is by covering my pans in foil so that you don't have to wash anything at the end. So you can just take it all off and throw it away. So I prepare my broccoli into little trees here. I'm going to cut them up a little bit further than this. So they're about this size. And I'm going to put them back in the bag so that I can toss them with some olive oil and garlic salt because that's all you're going to need for these. Cutting them up into smaller pieces. You're going to want them to be bite sized so that you don't have to cut them um, after they're cooked. And they're going to shrink down just a little bit as they bake. They're going to get kind of crispy, um, crunchy, salty, but really healthy because all it's got is a little olive oil and a little garlic salt. <clears throat> Once you have it back in your Ziploc bag, this is the easiest way to toss it. You could also just put it on the pan and put some olive oil and garlic salt on top of it. I'm just going to throw it in the bag because I already had it in the bag. So. I just have some olive oil and some garlic salt. Throw it all in the bag together. You're just going to want to coat every piece. So I'd say maybe two tablespoons of olive oil, a couple sprinkles of garlic salt. Toss it all together. This way you don't dirty another pan or dirty a bowl or anything like that. You can, any way you want to coat them is perfectly acceptable. Then I just toss it onto the pan. Spread it all out evenly so that everything gets really coated and baked evenly. So you want each piece to have the little crispy parts, not any one to be overcooked or undercooked. I'm just going to sprinkle a little extra garlic salt. I like mine a little salty. You definitely don't have to. Okay, I'm going to set these aside for later. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to set my oven to 350 degrees. going to prep the kale. You can buy kale anywhere in the grocery store. It usually is a plate decoration. It's not necessarily something that people think to eat, but it's actually really delicious. And the darker the leaves of a vegetable, the more healthy they're going to be for you. You're going to get tons of antioxidants from it. So I do this exactly the same way as I do the broccoli. Um, and they both cook in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Since I'm only cooking for two people, I'm going to cut this recipe in half. I'm only going to do half of this, um, these kale chips, and I'm going to save the other half for later. So the half that I'm not going to use, I'm not going to toss with olive oil. You're going to want to just keep those in regular in your refrigerator. Same exact thing I did with the broccoli. A little olive oil in the bag. A little bit of garlic salt. that. Just make sure every piece has olive oil in it. If you didn't want to use garlic salt, you could also just use some sea salt. Um, I use a salt grinder, so it's nice big pieces of salt. Kale has a good flavor all on its own. It really doesn't need a whole lot. I love the natural flavors of food without having to mask anything. Spread them out evenly on the pan. Like I said, 350 degrees for 15 minutes. I'm going to put everything in the oven at the exact same time so that it all is done at the same time. So when you serve your meal, it's all hot. And out open. This is going to make sure the fish stays really, really moist. It's going to keep the steam in. And it's that way you don't get dried out fish. I would choose any frozen fish. Um, any fish would be good for this recipe. I'm using tilapia just from Costco. 
um, in individual sized packages, regular old white tilapia. Um, I always get fresh caught fish, not um, wild fish, not um, farmed, nothing farmed. I already had it out. 